I know what you're talking about. You mean the biggest hypocrite moment of all time? Why you told me that I couldn't wear short shorts? Only be over leggings. I was wearing leggings underneath you them, were and you said they were too tight. Yeah. And you went to school, Not my in... Christian school. Yeah. In, in front of everybody. Yeah. What I wear? You wore these like shorts that literally had your. Oh, and I bet your friends are like, "Who's that no. mom? Who's that mom?" This is my fault for having you on my podcast. It's your fault for having me in the first place. Well, I, I can't help it. <laughs> what? This is not a good idea. No, it is not. We are in trouble. Hey, everybody. It's Carrie Pomeroy, and this is Lucy McGee. And welcome back to our podcast. <laughs> Say it. Say the name. Every week, you forget the name. This is not a good idea. How could you forget a name? Like, this is not a good idea. Because I was going to say something else. Well, I don't ask a lot of you just to say that one thing. Just to say, welcome back to our podcast this week. I could and just... you've already screwed up episode. You, you know, don't even know what episode it is. I don't want to say because I don't know when we're airing. Either but uh, let's start with important announcements, you guys. We're so excited that we have... Um, we're rounding up to 1,000 subscribers. Maybe by the time this airs, we'll have more. But we're really excited. But more importantly, Andreas, our producer, and I both got haircuts. And so that's very exciting. Um, and you can go on You YouTube. know very well that you got a haircut because I got a haircut. And well, we got a haircut. You got a haircut this summer. So you summer. felt left out. You got a haircut literally last summer. You think that I'm now, like, copying you? you? got left you felt left out. Okay, so I'm not allowed to do basic things like get a haircut unless mm. I'm emulating, which is the word you probably don't know, uh, you. I know what emulating means. What does it mean? I heard it in a movie once. What? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, I'm not copying you. This is not fifth grade. I'm trying to remember what movie now it was. I, I needed a haircut, not emulate. No, emulating. And you're a straight-A student. I don't know what kind of school, but. I know what it means. What does it mean? It's not, it's like. Um, Look at the camera. I'm trying to remember the movie at the same time. There's no movie. There is a movie. You're thinking like Dark Crystal. It actually might be a song. So I got a haircut. Thank you, YouTube viewers. Check that out. Um, And very, very exciting news. We have our first sponsor. Not a fake sponsor, but a real sponsor. Um, It's so huge. So I just want to thank uh, Genie Cosmetics. For those of you watching on YouTube, uh, you can see that I'm holding up their exciting Super products. Super fun to do this with. Okay. First of all, do not mess with our sponsor product because I'm going to be giving away some samples of the cosmetics. So this is very, I'm an influencer now. I'm an influencer because I got to what try their pro- I'm influencing. You're influencing people. Shut up. It's my first time. To like time. yell at their daughters. No, one time I did a soup cleanse. And it, what? I did. I did a soup cleanse. A and, soup cleanse. Yeah. And then they. What is that? The people in the soup cleanse. Had me do the soup plan so I could fit into your babysitter Lauren's uh, jean shorts that she gave me. And so I was like, can I wear an 18-year-old's jean shorts? Which I did. But back to our sponsor. Soup cleanse. I Shut up. Okay, so I am so excited and I'm trying to be. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You mean the biggest hypocrite moment of all time? Why you told me that I couldn't wear short shorts? Only be over leggings. I was wearing leggings underneath you them. And you said they were too tight. Yeah. And you went to school. My Christian school. Yeah. In, in front of everybody. Yeah. What I wear? You wore these like shorts that literally had your. Oh, and I bet your friends are like, "Who's that no. mom? Who's that mom?" Yeah, no, they were. no one was like yeah, that. Yeah, they were. Mm-hmm. If anything, it was yes, like that scene were. from Brave when like the little guy like pulls out his pants and he's what? like, "Feast your eyes," and everyone falls on the floor. You know what? Your jealousy about me jealousy? is so... Can we get back to our sponsor, please? Yes. We don't even have a topic yet. So, Genie Cosmetics let me try their stuff first before they became a sponsor, which is, I think, how you do it when you're a super influencer like me. Mm-hmm. And I tried their Million Dollar Lash Booster, which is the lash booster that you put on before the lashes. And I know that I'm... Podcast people, you're just going to have to suck it up and go to YouTube this week because there's a lot going on. Like, look at these lashes. So you put the lash booster on, and then you put the mascara on, and then it makes your lashes awesome. And then what's the skincare product I told you about? Instant Line Smoother. It and smooths out the lines. It makes me look like my 13-year-old, which is pretty exciting. And I shared this product with my mother. So you put it on, and then you look kind of dewy. But will it help me with math? Well, my ruler never. I got straight through lines. math because I had a cool boyfriend, and then the math teacher passed me. Yes, yes, you got through math because you're pretty. Kind of. 
Uh, no, because my boyfriend was on the football team and my math teacher You're pretty. was the coach. You're pretty. It's, I could have been ugly. You were and pretty. Still t- mildly pretty. I was mildly pretty in high school. You're only saying this now because you know very well that you did not get through math because you were smart. You know what? I don't think that that is a fair statement because technically I was smart to date Chad Olson, who was on the football team, who was a star player, and Mr. Schumacher liked me and wanted to keep me happy. Okay, back to this product, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna end it with this. I'm gonna give away some Genie Cosmetics, and what I what do we want people to do, Andreas? We want people to communicate with us. So you can send us an email at this is not a Ooh. good idea podcast at gmail.com. Idea, what? Idea. Uh what if people um faster, I'm bored. Okay. What if what? people send us uh based upon the topic because we're talking about makeup. Like, Oh, that's Math. a topic. What? Today? What do you want to say? Our topic was TV shows. Oh, we are going to talk about TV shows. Is that the next this one? This might be a two-parter. I don't know. It depends on how Okay, we'll talk about makeup them. today. So what do you want the... Tell me why you need this Genie makeup package. Uh, And by the way, it's 2020. Male, female. Because... You know, 21. Anyone? 21. 21. 2020. No, yeah. 2021, it's male, female, or they. So they could write in. Um, so anyone, as long as you are a human being, hey, yeah, or you couldn't. You be, can't. You don't have to. No, be yeah, a human you can't being. marginalize people, Lucy. It's 2021. You can't just you say could be only a potato. humans. Yeah, you can't say only humans because there's people out there that identify as not human, and I don't want them not to listen to our podcast. I'm not quite so, sure that's true. Okay, so uh, we're gonna save the TV topic for another week. I have a more important topic for this week. What is it? We're gonna call this episode. Why can't you clean your room? That's it's what, clean right now. It is not clean. Yes, it is. No, I think that there's a lot of parents out there that have the same fight over and over You want to know why we don't clean our rooms? Why? Tell me. Because we love to see you guys get worked up. Really? No. That's why? That's no. literally your reason. Stop fiddling. <laughs> your reason is No, that the real reason why I don't clean my like room is because... You like to live in squalor. Like squalor, like I a, like to live in school, and like, because of that, I have to get my books everywhere, and I don't have enough time okay, because the teacher you know, gives us a time. You know what your room reminds me of? You know the story in the Bible where the prodigal son leaves his uh, beautiful home, and then he goes and he eats with the pigs, and then he's like in the pig pen. When I walk Who in your room, who said the pig pen was dirty? They I never always specified that. Think of that story when I walk in your room, or I think you of, think of the prodigal I son. I think someone broke into your room and didn't take anything. I think that's what happens every time. Why? Uh, do kids not clean their rooms, Andreas? Mostly Let's because Let's let our you... producer talk. Andreas, you talk and I'll repeat it. I don't really know. You don't really know. That's what I'm talking about. Here's the reason why I, I don't, don't clean my room. is because I do clean my room. No, you don't. Yes, I do. But when you come in at all at the wrong... Point. You come in at all the wrong times. Like the morning or the afternoon or night? No, you come in at when I'm at school. You see, when I'm in school hours, I do not think of how like things are flying everywhere. I think of immediately, I must get this particular book no matter how so big wait, of a mess it is. So wait, the other makes. day, I found a dead animal that was in your room that no, you had didn't. been killed. Yes. No, you don't you know didn't. about this. Yes. It was, it was a, it was a, it was a gopher, actually. And a it, gopher. It, it had, it had crawled in under, it was a mole, actually, it was a mole under the house and gotten into your room wow, and died. I'm, I'm the compulsive liar. <laughs> You're trying to guilt trip me? I'm just saying there's... If I had a mole in my room, I would friggin' name it. Okay, I think there's things in your room that even you don't know about. Oh, yeah, definitely. I I think there's other kids listening with their parents right now to this podcast, and I just want to ask America. Don't fall short. Do not listen. It's all a bunch of lies. But, like, if you're a kid and you're listening and you just do one thing in this whole world to change your life for the better is clean your room. No. That's it. No. Yeah. No. And do the dishes. No. You have one chore. You have one room. I have two chores. What's your other chore? I do the trash. Oh, once a week. It's huge. What okay. do you do? I'm just kidding. Oh, my what God. What does Ruby you, do? You, Ruby is cute and adorable. That what is, does she do? That's what she does. She's 10 years old. That's what she does. She doesn't have a single chore. Never has. Besides sweeping the porch of the outside <laughs> With well, a broom. Ruby gets me followers on Instagram and that she's kind of like a job. Like seriously, <laughs> like Ruby goes on my videos with me all the time and I get more followers because of her. So therefore, value-wise, she trumps you. You know she very well, she literally threw a dish in the sink and said clean it <laughs> to my face. You probably did. Like so. And I tried to complain about it and then you came up and you're like, 
Clean it, Lucy. <laughs> Last week, Andreas, I was on the cover of a magazine, Shameless Plug. Were you? I was. You were. Yeah, you don't care. And I put it on social media, like, hey, fun news. I got on the cover of a magazine. Maybe 27 people, like, yay for you. And then the next day, I was like, Ruby put Cheerios in a bowl and put marshmallows on top and calls it mosh. Oh, my gosh. Ruby is the next court on Blue Chef. Court. Booyah. Ruby is money. You have not made me any money. You have helped me get some good makeup. Excuse me, that, but I was the one, the what? OG child. Yeah. I know you've forgotten about me, but I'm here. But you were a celebrity baby in People Magazine. And you no, even no, talk that's about. not even, that, that wasn't real. I want to throw that it in. It was at, real. It was It real. did happen. Okay. It's just not important. It was real, though. It was real. Okay. So what are you OG about? I was your original comedy act. Yeah, you want to tell the people what we used to do? You used to put me in an overhead bin. No, that's a whole nother thing. Uh, I used to plant you in my comedy audiences when you were a baby. And I would be doing comedy and then you would cry, right? You were about one years old. And I don't would, know why I was so good you at were, that. You would cry and then I would stop my show and be very angry and go, did someone bring a baby Somebody had the to audacity. my show? And she would kind of keep crying and making noise and the audience is like mortified for that mother that had and whoever was holding you was the plant and she and she would kind of stand up and I would look at you and I would go unbelievable you come here right now and you would waddle your little self onto stage and you would go mommy mommy and the whole audience would go oh and then I'd go, show them what we do in the hotel lobbies. And then do you remember what you would do? <laughs> my neck hurts. Yeah, you would fall down, and then she'd go, what well, you'd say? My neck hurts. My neck hurts. <laughs> so, I mean, she was. We had a video of that, didn't we? Do you remember when you used to travel with your dad and I, and we would do comedy shows yes. with your sister, and you would sit under the tables and steal silverware yes. at that one country club? I do. We used to road trip with you all over the place. I wish I still did. You were so small that you could fit in the overhead bin of the airplane. It was fun. It was cheaper. We were in a recession. Things happen. Don't judge under it. Uh, yeah, I, I, we, you've had an interesting childhood being the child of two comedians. Yes. You have. Interesting is the word oh, I would use. shut it. You were on a cruise when you were one. I don't remember it. Well, it happened. I have photos. You know what? I was on a cruise when I was technically made, so it doesn't really. No, you were not made on a cruise. You were discovered that you were made on a cruise. Let's so when was I made? Well, I discovered. I was made in January. In heaven. January. Uh, yeah, and in February, I was on a cruise with your father. And it I took got, you that long to I figure out you were pregnant? a Mexican. Yeah. Have you taken anatomy class? Do you know about your ever-changing body? Do you want to have this talk right now? I don't understand. How does it take you a month to realize? Because once a month, a woman has what's called a menstrual cycle. Do you want to go there for this episode right I now? know. what. And then when the woman doesn't have her menstrual cycle. But I cycle, thought you, like, throw up and stuff. The stork comes, and the stork brings the baby. I so thought, just, like, you, you, I thought you, like, throw Can up. I finish my story? Yeah. I was with Mike Williams. I was with Bob Smiley. I was with Ron McGee. And one of them was the father of the baby. And so they were all sitting Which around. one? It's, it's jury, <laughs> jury's out. And I had a Mexican pregnant test, which did not say you're pregnant. It what? had a man with a sombrero on it that looked no, happy. No, it did True story? No, it did not. It did not say C or no. And so then I handed your father the bachelor. It had a sombrero. Yeah, it had a man with a sombrero. No, it did Yes, it did. Yes. And I gave him a, fa a Valentine's card with a pregnancy test in it with a man with a sombrero. I don't know if he knew. He didn't even hug you when he found out. He, he hugged Bob Smiley. He hugged Bob Smiley. And now Bob is divorced from that wife, and I'm divorced from your dad. So it's a really great story. Mm. It's really sweet. Um, so this has been a very interesting uh, episode. I don't know that we uh, had a topic in mind. Oh, it was called Don't Clean Your Room. It's, it was called Why Should You, you Can I Don't Bleh. Clean My Room, I Won't Clean so, My Room. So, Lucy, in closing out this very informative episode, I want to give kids out there just one more piece of advice. Just do the small things that you were asked to do because this is the time in your life when you will only have to do a couple things for the rest of your Come life. Come on, kids. We're the next generation. Let's make it a living hell. <laughs> you, you cannot say hell on my podcast. Your it's grandma a place. Was... It's a place. All right, maybe I'll let that slide. Your grandma's going to freak out. My grandma's going to freak She's out. She's already mad about last week's episode. What happened last we week? We talked about me. I thought you said she didn't do anything. Well, she hasn't mentioned it, which I know that means she's mad. She's just waiting for us to go to no, Georgia. she's using restraint, which she's I She's waiting give her for us for. to go. Sure. Do you think we're going to have an intervention? 
We're going to have a sit down talk. I That's what's going to have a sit down talk She's going to sit us down with Rocco. With Rocco sitting with no, us. No, that's why I'm a grown adult, so I don't have to have sit-down talks with my parents. Yeah, well, you know what? I would love the same thing. No, you're sucking it for at least another five, six, six years. Six years. This is true. Well, I've really enjoyed our little talk today, and I feel like we've made some major headway about you cleaning your room. Mm, I, I, I don't agree. Yeah, well, I was just trying to be positive to end the episode, you know. Positive, uplifting way. And Come speaking, on, Gen Z. We can do it. <laughs> do you guys have any advice for me, parents, of how to get my child to do the bare minimum of what Pay you, me. Pay you. Pay me. I pay you. Give me money. You, I spend money for you to exist in this world. Yeah. Like, I buy your food. But we get free food from Trader Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Who pays for your guitar lesson? I don't have any currently. Oh, my God. Who pays for your piano lesson? You make me do that. Who pays the water bill when you take a shower? Oh, wait. You don't shower because it's COVID. Ending on that, thank you for joining our podcast. We want to hear from you, so please send me your advice. Please send me anything. Recipes, places to get sushi. At this is not a good idea podcast at gmail.com. Find us on YouTube and at Carrie Palm on Instagram and Twitter and Carrie Palm Roli. And tell me how much you're enjoying this. Say bye. Say it. Goodbye. <laughs>